Within St. Joseph's Healthcare, I'm responsible for respiratory therapy related education to the physicians, the critical care fellows, nursing, physio, and any other allied health within the hospital that would like to know information about any of our practices. Educating in the ICU with this device is extremely important if you want its use to be increased as well as broadened for different types of patients. The technical education I think is very important. The follow-up education in terms of the patient response is also important. However, if the technical aspect of the device is not understood, it won't be used to determine the clinical aspects of the patient outcomes. So teaching at the bedside has been very important and making sure that those who weren't at the bedside have access to that information. Some of the clear benefits are a visual clue as to where uh, aeration is occurring in the lung with current ventilator and PEEP settings. So where it's come in handy for a case example is a patient where, as an educational moment, a fellow decided uh, that proning may be in the patient's best benefit for optimizing oxygenation. However, looking uh, with uh, EIT technology, uh, we determined um, that in fact dependent ventilation really wasn't a major issue, so proning wouldn't have had a role saving a lot of uh, healthcare time and possible risk. When we apply the Palma Vista at the bedside on a patient to try and individualize care, while the device is on, we're taking constant screenshots as well as bringing anyone that's involved in the care of the patient into the room if available. The reason why we take the screenshots is so that anyone who's not available, I can still share and disseminate that information. So I will make learning packages on specific or interesting cases. My favorite screens to use at the bedside for teaching are the main screen, where we can take a reference shot before we're going to make a change with the ventilator or make any adjustments. And then what we do from this screen is we can watch the real-time changes occurring in the lung compared to our reference by referencing this change screen. So this tells me if after making adjustments, if I have a loss in ventilation in various regions of the lung, and then as we make adjustments, we can see if this has improved or whether or not it is not do, providing any benefit. So during a recruitment maneuver, we would see whether or not there is any areas of the lung that are improving during the maneuver in light of areas that are probably not being ventilated as well due to potential over distension. So we'll try to balance with that. The second screen I like to use at the bedside is the trend screen which we can then pinpoint these changes that were occurring on the dynamic screen and really look individually at different areas, the easiest thing at the bedside to understand. But then we can see if we have it integrating with our drag or ventilator, we can see the peep and tidal line that is coming across the ventilator at that time. And this I find to be the most effective, those two screens the most effective teaching at the bedside. I think what we've gained with using the Palma Vista is that what we thought we understood before with lung mechanics and what was going on in the lungs actually wasn't as advanced as we had hoped.